Hello class, this is section 7.4. In this video, we will work through a problem where we use convolution theorem to find solution of the given differential equation with given initial conditions. So if x of t is a solution, Laplacian transform of x of t is say capital X of s, then we know that the Laplacian of x prime of t is s times x of s minus x of 0. We need the solution such that initial conditions are 0. x of 0 is 0 and x prime of 0 is 0. So this is s times x of s and the Laplacian of x double prime of t is s squared times x of s minus s times x of 0 minus x prime of 0 and again these two terms are 0 because we need x of 0 and x prime of 0 is 0 so this is s squared of x of s. Now if Laplacian of f of t is capital F of s then we are given this differential equation x double prime plus 2 2x prime plus x equal to f of t applying Laplacian on both sides we must have Laplacian of x double prime plus 2x prime plus x equal to Laplacian of f of t so we must have s squared x of s plus 2s times x of s plus x of s is f of s. So if we take x of s out on the left hand side we have x of s times s squared plus 2s plus 1 equal to f of s which means x of s times x plus 1 whole squared is f of s. Call 1 over s plus 1 whole squared is capital G of s. Then x of s is g of s times f of s. Now applying the inverse Laplacian we have x of t is La Laplacian inverse of x of s which is the inverse of g of s times f of s. This is where we use the convolution theorem. It says that Laplacian inverse of g of s times f of s is g of t convolution with f of t where f of t is Laplacian inverse of f of s g of t is Laplacian inverse of capital G s. We know g of s is 1 over s plus 1 whole squared. So g of t is Laplacian inverse of s plus 1 whole squared. But we know that this is equal to t times e to the power of minus t. Therefore x of t is t times e to the power of minus t convolution with f of t and this is integral from 0 to t tau e to the power of minus tau f of t minus tau d tau. This is because convolution of g and f is integral 0 to t g of tau f of t minus tau d tau. So we have shown that integral 0 to t tau e to the power of minus tau f of t minus tau d tau is x of t which is what we are asked to show.